Well, have you guys seen the uh, Hateful Eight trailer? <laughs> I did. What'd you think of it? Tell me about it. <laughs> um, I don't remember much of it. It looks like <laughs> typical... It was that boring. Uh, well, it's not boring. It looks like typical sort of like um, the Django times eight. So it's sort of like, uh, I don't know. It's definitely Tarantino-y. Definitely Tarantino-y. Mm. It's, it's, got that, it's got that like 1960s like shit coming up there, you know? Uh, 1960s feel like old school grunge type, you know, film. But I just watched... Uh- I just watched Glorious Bastards this year. I rented Django Unchained. I see to Django. <laughs> you just watched Glorious Bastards? I like watched oh, that like four years ago. It just came out when it came out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like, guess I'm, a, I'm just not a huge uh, Tarantino fan. I enjoy his work, but uh, I'm you know I, I, you know I followed this movie and I followed the, some of the controversy surrounding it. Yeah. But I won't co- I won't well, comment too much on that. Well, uh, Donovan, Donovan, please tell us about what what's going on with uh, the Tarantino movie. So, so apparently, he marched with some Black Lives Matter, uh, saying that all cops are murderers. And then on on, of course, everyone, there's two different sides. We're not taking a side on this, but uh, the cops side, of course, was like ban Quentin Tarantino. And I, I, I'm friends with a couple of cops. I know a couple of them, and they said, uh, is it? And it basically comes on this, and they kind of feel they're like, it's it's art versus uh, personal life. Like that, if that's his viewpoint, then that's his viewpoint. It has nothing to do with his films and whether or not they're going to be good or not. Yeah. So, uh, Quentin Tarantino has always made wonderful films. Uh, so, regardless of that, don't put personal uh, hurt feelings into watching what's going to be probably another another wonderful film by Quentin Tarantino. Woody yeah, Allen fucked I will, kids. I, I will say, I will say this about uh, the controversy too. Um, for one, the guy on his side, it's his opinion. He has freedom of speech yes. to say whatever the fuck he wants. And on the other side, I've noticed some people saying, like, "Oh, they're not doing their job." No, the LAPD is still going to be out on the streets, you know, protecting the citizens of LA. They're just not going to be at that function, you know, the the premiere. Yes, yeah. So, uh-huh. so I, you know, I, I, that's my only thing I will say about that. So I think he has the right to say what, you know, what he wants. And honestly, you know, the, the cops don't need to be at some premiere when they, you know, have the, oh, wait, the wait, city wait, are, are, the cops, are the cops saying that they won't be there to like, to like, uh, like support, like beat, like do security and support the safety of the citizens? Or are they saying we won't just as cops go watch this movie private? I, I, I think that honestly, and this is just my personal opinion, but I think honestly, them not being there during that movie uh, is probably the better idea. Uh, in yeah. case of it escalating to a certain point, so I think that them just doing their yeah. job, and if they get called out there and they have to do something, then let them do that. I'm sure they're, the cops are gonna do a fine job doing that. I, but I, like will, I, said, <laughs> I will say this though: I will guarantee you, if there's like these big like premieres and like they have to do extra security. I'm sure there's some neighborhoods that are sparse on manpower and they're easier to, you know, do criminal activity. <laughs> I will yeah. say that. Um, but, you know, so that, that's my only opinions about it. I think Quentin has every right to say what he thinks and feels and believes. Has nothing to do with um, his movies, like we were yeah, saying. Yeah, has nothing to do with his movies. Um, and, but, but now, please now, give now, us... Now maybe I think that if maybe Quentin Tarantino comes out with a movie that says all cops are murderers and and we hate them, maybe I would understand the cops not wanting to go see that one, you know. But Hateful yeah. Eight, it's it's about cowboys, and nothing to do with relevance of what's going on right now. Just watch the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. Please, uh, please, uh, while I go get myself some more whiskey, give everyone a rundown of the uh, trailer of uh, Hateful Eight. Oh Whatever. shit! I haven't seen I haven't seen it in a minute. So how about we skip to another? So it's there's nothing really to give to. <laughs> There's nothing All right. to give to that trailer. It just shows a bunch of different people and some shit, and, it's, and it gives no Does info. It show shit, like literally? Yes, it, there's no. no. It's an it's awesome. Been... The, the crazy thing is, it's an awesome trailer, though. It's like, yeah. it, it's, it, it, it gets you so pumped for the movie, but tells you fucking nothing about what, yeah, that's what the movie's about. That's what I'm saying. It like shows different <laughs> characters. You can tell it's a Western, but the biggest problem is that what the fuck is it going to be about? Is it going to be the same. Django oh, universe or area is it gonna or is it completely different and different time you know 
has kind of a murder mystery feel to it, you know? Kind yeah. of what they were they were hinting at. Or... But you know, you know, there's going to be blood and guts in it because you know, Quentin yeah. Tarantino, yeah. he's gonna he's gonna shoot some motherfuckers up with some good old fashioned squibs. Good old good old Tarantino. I think well, there's going to be zombies in it and vampires. I think the twist is going to be that all the zombies sparkle. And all the vampires <laughs> sparkle. And everyone just sparkles. Sounds good. Well, no, segue- so the horses sparkle.